Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am excited because it's finally the end of March, which means summertime, which means tan skin, which means going to the beach and all that good stuff. And if you guys haven't noticed, it may sound a little echoey. Uh, I am officially moved into our new house. Um, in case you're not following me on Instagram, we currently just purchased a new home, me and my husband, so we are super, super excited. I'm filming in natural lighting. There's no artificial lighting, which I'm super excited about. I think I'm loving this. This is midday. We'll see how good it ends up being and if I'm gonna stick with it. Okay, so I'm really excited for March. I feel like March was a great month for us besides packing and having to do all of that. But I am super excited to be here, call us our home, and just really enjoy this moment. Uh, a lot of good things happening in this month, so also wanted to include in my favorites this month. I had a whole bunch of empties, but somehow between the move, I think they got thrown away. So we're just gonna do a favorites video this month. So yeah, let's get started. To start off with, I want to do makeup first because that's always the thing that I'm most excited about in favorites video. And my favorite currently lip product would be the NYX Butter Gloss and Strawberry Parfait. I just absolutely love this color. Um, let me swatch it here for you guys. It's such a pretty pink. And I know at first when I got this, I said that I, this was the one color that I hated the most in there. I felt like it wasn't wearable. But since then, I've been wearing a lot more lipsticks and stuff, so I've kind of gotten used to just color being on my lips in general. I just think it's a very pretty wash of pink. Um, it's not too much and it's not too overbearing. Um, if you're just first starting out in makeup and you're just getting used to wearing lipsticks and such, I think this is a great one to start off with. Um, the whole line is phenomenal. I love the scent of these. I love the price. Um, the pigment is really great and it's also, it's sheer but it still has a good amount of color in it. So if you're just starting out in lipsticks, I think this would be a great one to try out. And it's perfect for spring. Okay, so the next lip product that I have is the Burt's Bees Hydrating Lip Balm with Coconut and Pear. Lately, my lips have been super dry. I don't know why, but they've just been so dry and they get super chappy lately. And this has just been helping out my lips so much. And I just, I love the scent of this. Like, oh, it smells so good. Like when I put it on my lips, I'm literally like, mm, I feel like I'm in like Hawaii or some tropical place. And it's just this, this makes me so happy the way that it smells. It smells like I'm drinking like a pina colada or something, but it's just lip balm. It just smells so good. It feels so good on your lips and super hydrating. I've never been a fan of Burt's Bees. I've never been a fan because they've always had like sparkle in them or they're like minty. And these hydrating ones are just so on point. They're my favorite lip balms. I've had this for quite a while and I've always forgotten to mention it because it's just something that I use on the daily and I kind of don't really mention because it doesn't have color or anything, but this is a great product. Okay, the next product that I'm going to mention is something that was in my recent video, and it is the Maybelline Fit Me Powder. I have been loving this powder on top of my foundation. Any foundation, it just really just sets it and makes it look super flawless to me. Um, it almost, let me open it up. I kind of hate the packaging. I think it looks really cheap and just, I mean, it's a drugstore. That kind of, it's kind of what you expect from drugstore. But um, it's just this. You open it up. Has the little mirror and this little thing. I just, I don't think it's very durable. But I love the product inside of it. I love the price. Um, it just really makes all of my makeup look really flawless and also matches my skin super, super, super good. So this is a great purchase, and it was only like five something at Walmart. So. I love this product. My next product is something that I have been obsessed with since I first started using it, and it is the e.l.f. Bronzing Glow and Warm Tan. Uh, this just looks absolutely beautiful as a highlight on top of your cheeks. I'm actually not wearing it today. I'm trying out a new highlighter that I just got, but um, this has been my go-to lately. I don't know why, I've just been obsessed with highlights. I've never used them before. I think the past two, three months, I've just been on a kick with them. Um, and I've just, 
I have to use them. I feel like my skin just looks glowy, it looks natural, it looks youthful and luminous. It just really makes the biggest difference in your skin after you've already applied all of your makeup. It just makes your skin look like skin, if you feel me. You feel me. Alright, but this is what it looks like. I think it's like $2 at Target. Come on. $2. Good stuff. Okay, the next product is the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palettes. I could not just pick one because I honestly love them both. I think they are so amazing. The quality is so on point. I use these on the daily whenever I'm doing my makeup because they're just such a good palette. The blendability is so amazing in these things. I have done a video before on my review and thoughts of these. Every time I open them and I just smell the chocolate, I literally get so happy. I don't know why. I just like, it just puts a smile on my face. Like I'm just like, oh, it smells so good. It smells like cocoa. Um, this is the other one. Get it together. Get it together, Marina. So yeah, I just think these colors are just perfect. They have the perfect amount of color to pop and so your eye makeup doesn't look too boring and also it just, you can wear these looks all the time no matter where you go, a wedding, to church, um, just to go out to eat. It just, it looks just so good and wearable. Um, I just love these palettes. These are just bomb.com. Okay, my last makeup product would be something that I was always super terrified of doing, um, which is a winged liner. I've never been into winged liner. A, because it intimidates me. B, because if you would do your eye makeup and then you would put the liquid liner on and you don't know how to do it right, it would just totally mess it up. So I was always super afraid of liquid liner. And then especially the next one that I have, I like it. It's just Every time I would do my liner, it would somehow end up managing to get on my lashes and then when I would put my mascara on, it would look like clumpy and it just wouldn't build volume as good because it has that product on there. So I just, I kind of gave up on the liquid liner thing. But um, I wanted to try out the NYC liquid liner from the drugstore, which is $2 because I heard nothing but great things about it. It dries to a matte finish. Um, the applicator is super easy to apply with and you just literally wing out your liner super easy I will list a video I didn't do this video but somebody else that I follow on YouTube did the video I will list that video down below um I forget what her name is Myra glam something touch of glam or something but I have watched so many YouTubers with eyeliners and try how to try to apply a liquid liner, gel liner, wing liner, any type of liner and I felt like they have never made any sense at all until I watched this video. Like literally, I don't know why, but just the way that she broke it down just made so much sense. Ever since I've never had a problem doing my wing liner, it just makes so much sense. I'm like, why did I never think of this before? Um, the way I was trying to do it before, it just, it just wasn't working. And I'm hoping that by showing you this video, um, you will be able to do wing liner because it's so easy now. I'm just like, oh, why did I never, why was I so intimidated by this before? Anyways, let's get back on track. This eyeliner um it's just super easy she doesn't use it in the video but um i've just heard good things about it and it dries to a matte finish is why i really wanted it because i don't like um shiny black eyeliner so i like this a lot this is a good product um great 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 for beginners amazing stuff okay so i just have a few more products um the last couple ones are not makeup related, but they are still beauty related. So my favorite perfume at the moment is currently Dolce Gabbana number no. three, L'Impertiste, L'Impertrice. I don't know exactly how you pronounce it, but it smells so amazing. <sighs> it just, I just wanna bathe in this. It's just such the perfect amount of like fruity, floral, soft sweetness kind of perfume to it. It's just amazing. Brings me back to high school because this is what me and my best friend used to wear. She got me hooked on it. Um, so 
love this stuff pricey i think the only place you can really get it is sephora is where i've seen it and yeah i've gone through this much since january i like bathe myself in this stuff and that's it i don't wear it every day but i just love this stuff it's amazing um this was my wedding scent because i did wear this at my wedding because it just has a lot of good memories for me in high school and stuff so I love this scent, it's amazing. Okay, and I wanted to include a nail polish in this one, and this one is perfect for spring. This is the OPI Charged Up Cherry. It's a really pretty pink color. It is very similar to the MAC lipstick. I can't think of it. Why can't I think of it? I can't think of it, but I'll list it down below. Um, it's very similar to this, legit. It's like they made that lipstick in combination with this nail polish. It looks so good whenever I wear a white or a cream. And then I have this as my nail polish and that as my lip color. It looks amazing. Perfect color for spring. I have it on my toes right now. I've had it on them for a month now because I'm super lazy and I don't want to change them. But it lasts so long. I really love it. Okay, my last favorite of this month would be my Target shades. I am obsessed with these shades. These are like knockoffs of the Ray-Bans. Um, I seen these one time on somebody, not these exact ones, but one time we went to a festival and I seen this girl with these Ray-Ban ones. Legit, just like this style. And I wanted them so bad, you just don't even understand. But they were like $160. Um, and I couldn't find them anywhere. I would have to order them online and then I wasn't sure if they would even fit my face good because I kind of have like a round face. So I was like, I don't know if I should chance it because I would have to order it online. Target came out with these like a year ago and I've been obsessed with these sunglasses ever since. I actually have some regular Ray-Ban ones, um, but I just really like these because this is something that I would wear if I'm gonna go to a water park or out to the beach or something that I don't care if it gets lost or broken or stolen because it was $15.99 versus my other nicer ones that are $130. I do not want to break those. I do not want anybody to steal them. I guard those things with my life. So yeah, I really like this. This would be a perfect for the summer. Just, it's a good classic fashion forward sunglass. They're very different. I like that about them because I don't like to always have something that everyone has, but I don't want to splurge on something that's too fashiony, if you feel me, you know, because it can go out of style. Okay, so that's it for my beauty favorites of March. I will be listing all of the products down below as I normally do, and I have been trying to do so. I hope you guys have a great April and spring break and a great Easter. Take care guys, bye.